the book, Discovering God in Science, Creation Cosmology. Throughout the ages, men have wondered, where did all this come from? Some have thought, surely this is the creation of a creator God, but others will say it is nothing more than a random act of nature. If so, is there life on other planets? How old is the universe? How does fine-tuning affect our understanding of how the universe was made, and could it indicate the need for design? Some scientists say there could be 10 or 11 dimensions of space and time, so what does that mean? You will learn how Einstein's theory of relativity suggested the universe is expanding. Learn how Edwin Hubble discovered galaxies that are moving apart, which confirmed an expanding universe. George Gamow predicted a small bright and hot start for the universe, and Sir Fred Hoyle gave it the name, the Big Bang. Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson discovered the cosmic microwave radiation, which confirmed Gamow's prediction of a bright and hot start to the universe. Learn how the Big Bang is similar to the Genesis story of creation. You will find out why time stops in a black hole, as Stephen Hawking predicts. Discover how time appears different to different observers, which can explain how the Genesis account differs from our understanding that the universe is 13.7 billion years old. Chapter 1 gives a short overview of Greek science, which was correct on many things. During the European Renaissance period, modern science was started, and most of the first men of science were Christians. Chapter 2 explores two historic clashes between science and religion, and how these have laid the foundation for today's culture war in America. Chapter 3 traces the discovery and development of the Big Bang Theory of how the universe started. Some now think a better description would be to call it the Big Flash, as most of the first energy was photons, which are light particles. This brings to mind the opening lines in Genesis, where God said, Let there be light, and there was light, and God saw that the light was good. Chapter 4 explains how science has come to the conclusion that the universe is about 13.7 billion years old. In the second half of the chapter we will discover how God could create the universe in just six days, using Einstein's theory of relativity. Chapter 5 tells the discovery of fine-tuning which has amazed many people. The extreme degree of how precisely the universe has been made, has baffled many scientists, and suggests the universe is not a random accident, but more likely a result of design. In this chapter I present a visual example of the odds of fine-tuning, which is mind-boggling. Chapter 6 explores dark matter, dark energy, string theory and other dimensions of space and time. Understanding a 10-dimension universe gives us a better understanding of supernatural events. Chapter 7 tells us about how stars work and the necessity of stars for life. We explain how many stars collapse at the end of their lives to form white dwarfs, neutron stars, or black holes. We will also explain why time stops at the center of a black hole. In Chapter 8, we talk about how special Earth is as a planet to support life. The search of life on other planets has now been ongoing for 50 years. What are the odds of us discovering alien life forms, and what does that mean from a theological viewpoint? Chapter 9 tackles the origin of life, and Darwin's theory of evolution. You will learn how this theory comes in conflict with the second law of thermodynamics. Chapter 10 presents a case for intelligent design, which is an alternative to naturalism, materialism and Darwinism. Chapter 11 explores how science is treated in the news media and movies to promote naturalism and materialism. In Chapter 12, we see how science becomes more believable than the Bible to many Americans because of our educational system. Finally, in Chapter 13 you will discover that you have to have faith either in science or faith in God to believe how we came into existence. This will require critical thinking and an open mind. Some have said you have to have faith to believe in God, but I think you have to have much greater faith to believe in natural random creationism. You will learn that the mathematical odds favor believing in a creator God. If you like science and these questions of our existence intrigue you, then the book Discovering God in Science is a must-read as it covers the latest discoveries in astronomy, science and cosmology. Join in the adventure of discovery with author Charles E. Steele as he explores these questions in depth. The book comes with numerous photos, graphs, charts, and illustrations to help you understand the science. The book is packed with lots of interesting facts and footnotes, so you can learn the science. 
In addition, there are links to online videos to help you understand some of the more complex ideas presented. The book is available as a paperback, or as an e-book. The e-book version allows you to read the book on your Kindle, Nook, iPad or other electronic device that supports e-publish, PDF, or Kindle formats. The e-book version has many pictures in color, while the printed version is in black and white. You can order the book by clicking the button below. If you order one of the electronic e-book versions you can download it, and be reading in just a few minutes. If you order the paperback version a signed copy will be mailed directly to you from the author. Currently, this book is only available on this website. Click the button below, to place your order. Orders are processed on the PayPal Secure website. Order today and start enjoying the new book, Discovering God and Science.